<laughs> oh dear, you caught me out there. Um, well, welcome back to Groves Nurseries. Uh, I'm Clive Groves and we're here in midsummer. Now, I don't know about you, but um, I think everybody needs their own space. Um, and uh, for me, I love coming here to my greenhouse and sitting amongst my plants and just contemplating and perhaps having a, a cup of tea or perhaps in the evening, something a little bit stronger. And, um, and I also have um, a little gas cooker, which if I'm feeling peckish, I can do a fry up and uh, I won't smooch the house up. So let's go outside now and we'll talk a little bit more. Well, I think greenhouses are wonderful. I love them. Uh, end of the summer, you can bring in your geraniums. Uh, you can bring in alpines that uh, you want to keep dry. You can use auriculas or violets, which are my favorite things. And during the summer, you can grow vegetables, cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers I've got in mine, and fruit. Uh, I've got a grapevine. I've got a Cape gooseberry in there. So they're really wonderful to have. And also, you can go into it and do a bit of work if it's wet and cold outside. It's also nice to have sheds. Uh, you can make them as ornate as you like and as tidy as you like, or just for your own space again. Uh, perhaps a summer house would be better for this. So if you intend or if you're inspired at all to, to buy one of these, then it's a good idea to, for me to take you down to meet a couple of the team down in our garden shed department. So come on down with me. Hi Clive. Right, now this is Billy Slade and he's, uh, he's going to tell us about greenhouses, what to look for when, um, if you intend to purchase a greenhouse. So I'll pass you over to Billy. Okay, so to start with, there's three different types of glass that you can get. You can get horticultural glass, toughened or polycarbonate. Um, if you look over to this one here, this is horticultural glass, um, which has overlapping clips, so it's in three panes all the way down. Um, however, I wouldn't really suggest that if you have small children, as it does break up into sharp shards and can be quite dangerous. Um, then moving on to the toughened glass, which is a lot stronger, and if it does break, it granulates into loads of little pieces, so much less chance of getting injury. Um, if we come on round to this one over here, see this is polycarbonate, which is our most expensive option, but it is probably best for school gardens. With many of our greenhouse suppliers, you can have it powder coated a different colour to fit the atmosphere of your garden, blend in with other colours surrounding your garden, such as these. Also, we can supply optional extras such as the shelvings to length, the louvre windows down here, which is automated, and the roof end up here, which is automated. Having it automated with a greenhouse this size is great as, because it's such a compact greenhouse, it does heat up really quickly. Um, so, I mean, if you have a job, full-time job all day, it is great to get it open and air it out. The greenhouse come in all different sizes and heights to meet your needs depending upon your crops. For instance, if you look at this one in comparison to this, you can see the difference. Okay, so another great advantage of some of the greenhouses that we sell is they have either low threshold, no threshold, which are great for wheelchair access, and one of the other older models that we have actually have a step over, which can be a lot more difficult if you have a disability. Okay, so when laying a base, it is vital that it is completely square. Otherwise, it will become very tricky when it comes to assembling the greenhouse as the frame will be warped and the glass just simply just won't fit in. We do also offer an installation service, but that is at an added cost. That's great, Billy. Thanks very much. Shall we go now and find Mark in, uh, in the garden shed department? Okay. <laughs> 